Hello, today we will discuss about how to plot smooth curve of this uh, camshaft profile and increase the number of plots. Here you can see that I had kept only uh, 7 value as the input 1, this 2, this 3, this 4, 5, 6 and 7. So this graph shows only 7 division. But what if I want more number of graph or what if I want to uh, increase my dwell or increase my ascent or descent so how will we do that you did not uh, simply do in this one every time you have to calculate right now we will automate this uh, code and here only you have to just input this 5 um, value and it will run automatically all the graph like this smooth curve so first you have to watch this video after then only realize how to do this kind of uh, complex um, um, program first will uh, import number of division this is actually I had divided to 7 part so uh, I had kept as 50 so you can see that I got one very smooth curve over the uh, period so first I will import our say same import numpy import matplot library and import math matplot library is for plotting our function import uh, numpy is our npra and now we will import number of division it h is uh, camshaft displacement out means uh, this is ascent dwell and this is descent so now we will just divide h divide by 2 means h multiplied by 0.5 will um, simply create two array which have uh, this uh, this value 0 to 50 by increment first we will create null array now this is a and b now we will uh, create theta 1 is equal to line square 0 to out so this is ascent time so how whatever it will start with 0 and 120 and division of 50 so it will it will divide 0 to 120 in 50 number of division now we will import uh, our for x loop so uh, for x in np line space 270 to 90 degree i will show you um, this camshaft profile will look like this one i will not uh, draw correctly so here you can see that my cam profile will start with here to somewhere here so start with 270 degree and end with here 90 degree so I have wrote 270 to 90 degree and number of division is 50 now I had converted this is simple math dot sign and math dot radian what is uh, will do like if you create one angle this is like this one and this is actually 60 degree then the this length will be up to here is h multiplied by this uh, sine 60 so this height become h multiplied by sine 60 so same thing i had first created my sine 60 and then i had multiply by with this a1 right now this is tricky actually h means our 50 multiply by divided by 2 means 25 so i had only i had only division as 25 why it is like that because my up to here to here height is only by this to this height is my 25 
so I had kept 25 multiplied by sin 60 right now I, I had created if loop if a2 greater uh, less than 0 means if you go for 270 sin 270 degree or 250 degree it will uh, it will in minus so 25 minus 25 sign will be there but it will come with minus if you um, if you go for this one it will not show uh, if you don't put if loop then it will not uh, calculate your correct uh, plotting your graph so I had kept b2 means a2 less than 0 then it will go for it a is equal to a2 plus h means if h, be, h become minus 25 so it will combine with 25 so your first point will be 0 comma 0 then if it, it come with 24 uh, sorry 24 plus 25 so it will become this point will be this y coordinate of this point will be 1 like this one it will get or else if if it is uh, greater than 0 then it will simply add the h value and then a this a value after this combining loop it will append in a so it will store in a array same thing I had kept as theta 2 but theta 2 will be our outer plus 12 dimension so 120 plus 90 so it is it will be 210 and our end is 90 degree so our total 12 out plus 12 plus return so 210 plus 90 degree so 300 degree and division number of division is n same thing I had kept for x in line p line space here I had kept not 270 to 90 but I will start with 90 degree and then I will end in with 270 degree so I had kept 90 to 270 degree and number of division is n same thing I had created b1 here you can see that b1 dot mat dot sign it will convert simply our this y coordinate this one and this will uh, will h multiply by b1 so it will give your this value and same thing if less than 0 then your b becomes it will start with 0 point so it will goes like this one and it will be append a so every time this value will input in b function means b null array so uh, after this you can this is simple this is figure this is actually figure size 20 comma 50 the grid will come true so I had kept grid on our x level is theta and y level is lift our x tick is np dot rn 0 this is total 30 and this is step I had kept added because it will not uh, end with this one and this is y tick same thing I had kept as increment of 5 then only it will show me 50 if I note will write here plus 5 it will end with 45 degree and, and right finally I have plot theta 1 with a this null array and theta 2 this one with b null array which will store our h value in this b if I run this code you can get this graph if any of this graph or any moment if h is like 30 just you can change change the h value 30 if our descent is uh, ascent is 90 dwell is 30 and return will be if return 120 you can just here and just run it you can get your uh, cam profile so is that simple after every time you don't need to write every time a code just only change this 4 value and you can get your cram profile 
displacement graph so by this way you can automate the function of cam profile or cam displacement thank you guys